Hello everybody, this is me, MC Gamer, and welcome on back to more Paper Mario. On the last episode, we found out that the next... Oh! Oh no, a poor Toad got frightened by a spooky ghost! Joe just now a ghost passed right in front of me! Uh, you sighed, didn't you? Saw. I am not the only one! Over there! Oh, spooky ghost. No, the other way! Oh, nope. Nothing. Got nothing. It went in the forest. Huh. Mario, this madness has to end. Will you go in the forest and see what's going on? I'm ashamed to say it's my job, but I just can't go. I'm just too afraid to go. Please, I'm begging you. All right, whatever. Just shut up and never speak to me again. I hate toads. Is there anything behind this box? Nope. I thought there'd be something behind this box. But apparently I was wrong. Let's head into the forest. The forest of spooky things. Actually, it did get quite spooky just suddenly. <gasps> Pardon me, sir. Would you happen to be Mario? How do you do, sir? My master wishes to see you. If you would, please call us at the mansion at the far side of the Forever Forest. My master would also like me to add that she has a possession important news regarding the star spirits. Please make haste. We shall await your arrival with a warm welcome. And if you don't come, we'll get you. Boo! Shall we do it? I hate you, Cooper. Let's go! Chapter 3, The Invincible Tababalaba. There's wolves in this darn place. Forever Forest, Toad Town. Hello. You are some pretty flowers. Hmm. Which way is the way to go? We never will know. Or will we? There is some giggling flowers here. This must mean this is the way to go. Huh? What do you think you're doing? Mm -hmm. This far pay a head here is extremely dangerous. Didn't you know that? You better go back. Nah, uh, no. Okay, so that's your story. Invited Boo's Mansion. You may pass then. Listen carefully. If you want to get through this war, you have to pay really close attention to your surroundings. You choose the wrong path, you'll end up around the wrong forest edge before you go it. Areas around the creek pass will always look slightly different from the others. Walk clue. It's a freaking. It's a. It's a find the differences puzzle. I love those. I used to read those all the time in doctor's offices. Alright, so we got three flowers. We have three flowers. And we. Oh! Uh, this is the way. But we have a battle. We're going to use Cooper's power shell to try to take care of them. Out of the way, losers. That didn't defeat them. Well, I'll have to just jump on them. Wow, they're still alive. Oh, and they just heal you themselves. Oh, man. All right, we blocked one at least. Uh, let's see if this will take him out. All right, so they have six health each. Um, so let's see what we can do about this one. All right. All right, good blocking. Excellent, I've learned their timing. Uh, whether I keep that timing is going to be a secret to everybody. Now, this guy I block consistently, so he should die this turn, I believe. Excellent. I did math. And we got nine star points. So this is the way to go this way right here. Do you know how I know? There are eyes blinking up top. Look up. No, up top. Ooh, so spooky. All right. Let's see. What do we have here? Three flowers. Three flowers. Three flowers. Blue flowers. 
Actually, four flowers as well, so we're counting them. Here we have small patch of mushrooms. Red, green, and blue. No mushrooms. No mushrooms. Ooh, spooky ghost up top. That must be the way then. All right. Here we have nothing of importance. Ah, evildoer. Oh. Okay, so those light up once. Can I check? Well, those go absolutely nuts though. Okay, so it has to be the absolutely nutso ones. Oh no, it's a battle against a whole army of piranha plants. This actually is kind of frightening to me. But if we defeat them, that'll get us quite a bit of health. So let's, uh, or quite a bit of star points. Good, they all fight health and they give us a solid 15 or 16 star points. Totally worth the FP cost right there. Especially because we gained two back. I like that light show. It makes me happy. Are we there yet? No? Ah, darn it. We have a whole army of them. We're going to use Cooper's Power Shell to start us off. Power Shell is so useful for these multiple enemy battles, just to get us, you know, going on stuff. Wow, four damage the hammer does now. That's actually pretty good. Oh, mistimed. Okay, so if I hammer this fellow, this should actually kill him. Because that does four damage now, and I discovered. And since we blocked uh, this guy, he should die with a good Cooper Blast. Excellent! And that'll put us up another nine star points to a cool 69 total. I'm sure you guys are most excited. Okay, these guys just giggle. Whoa, those guys disappear. All right, uh, we can't do our, our big move, so we're gonna have to take these guys one at a time. Like we're gonna be able to get rid of one piranha plant uh, first. Oh good, we blocked it. And we mistimed that one. All right, so we should be able to take this guy out this turn. Trusting, actually, it's impossible not to kill him at this point. Excellent. Darn it. All right, now let's hammer this fellow. We should be able to take him out this turn unless he's his health has a extra amount of area that we can't see. Yes, very good. Nine more star points, excellent. So those disappear. We just gotta check over here real quick to see if these disappear. Okay, so it was the ones that only laughed uh, and giggled, not the ones that disappeared. So this one then. Yep, all right, so this should be the way. Nothing here. Wait, what's this sign say? If you have business with Booze Man, should come this way. Um, Okay, I'm gonna trust the sign. I trust the sign. It opened up my eyes, I trust the sign. All right. Hey, the sign was right, nice. Hello, spooky mansion. Phew, looks like we finally made out spooky forest. Hey Mario, what do you what do you bet that mansion the Golden Bay was talking about before? Yep, this is it. Let me in. Oh good. I was worried that thing actually wouldn't open. 
Oh, and it shuts fast. That's how you know it's scary. Welcome, sirs and madam. I'm pleased you made it through Forever Forest. My master awaits you in the room highest up this lovely tower mansion. Lovely tower mansion? Did I say that right? I think I said it wrong. Please go to the third floor. There you hear all the news of the star spirits. I'll see you there. He's a friendly fellow. I like him. I'm gonna call him Timothy. Timothy the ghost. You know what? Timothy sucks. We'll call him Jerry. Jerry the ghost. Ooh, spooky nothingness. <gasps> it's a marijuana. Yay for the marijuana. I'm going to use this to get caught by cops and have a terrible life. Ooh, what do we have over here? You can't open it. I can't do it. Um, hmm. We probably can just walk in. I didn't really think that was an option. I'm so used to having to find puzzles to find my way in. Oh, what a nice house. Well, like, not much to it, but hey, third floor we're supposed to go to? Here is the second floor. Hello. Ooh, spooky ghost with teeth. Good thing he's invisible. This is not the third floor. Where's the third floor? The painting. The painting wiggled. Hi, did I start you? Do you want to go up to the third floor, don't you? Well, I'm afraid you'll have to go whatever's fine mints missing from this frame. If you manage to find I'll let you go upstairs. Mwahaha. <laughs> Bow is such a hard boo. Test, tease testing on guests like this. It's a bow or bow. <gasps> oh. Can't go in there. That's locked. What do we have in here? <gasps> it's a music player. It's a phonograph. It would be nice if there was a record to play. There is no record. Hello. I'm so bored, bored. I know Lady Bo ordered me to stay here, but for how long? That's Bo. It has to be Bo. All right, so you're ordered to stay there. I'm guessing you'll move if I play you music. Maybe you're a music fan. Hello, spooky ghost. <laughs> it's the Jerry painting. Out of the way. There's always things hidden behind large furniture in video games. Speaking of which, I want to bounce on this sofa. Whee! There was a thing hidden behind the thing! I knew it! I am a genius! Cooper, you have a new job. Your mission is to be a rock. I used to have a, a companion who was a rock. I liked him. Can't go through there. It's a rocking chair. Rocking chairs are scary. Oh, spooky. Spooky. Scary rocking chair. Mario doesn't move, but the rocking chair does. Whatever horrors will we find next? Um, hmm. I know what I must do. I've played enough Mario to see where this is going. Ha! Huh. I am Mario! And I will soon become rocking chair Mario. Cooper! Quick, get in the pot! I want to jump on your head like in the old days. Boing. Alright, I've had quite enough of that. Well, that was a fun excursion. So I need something to hold that down up there. Interesting. Wait a minute, hold on, I have an idea. Bombette, you are good at blowing up things, right? Well, what, hold on, actually, let's check this book. I cannot check this book. This book is, <laughs> it is written inside the ancient language of booze, apparently. Blow it up. You are the most useless bomb I have ever once had the displeasure of meeting. All right, let's see. So it seems that unfortunately, I cannot find my way. And to be honest with you guys, 
I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Did I go in this room? I did. Wait, hold the phone. A graph. Okay. Let us never do what I just did again. I thought that behind the fireplace might be a secret. Turns out it was just a fireplace. This is sad. Okay, spooky ghost, why are you trying to frighten me? Oh, I can go in here. I just had to, okay, I'm dumb. Hello? <gasps> Hello! Who are you fellows? Mario, you have come. If you want this record, you must guess who holds it. Very well. The lucky boy will be very angry if we let him get too easily, fellow booze. Do your best like we practiced. Um. Okay. I see it. He's on the top now. Coming around the side. It was you. It was this one. Gotcha. No, boo-hoo, you, you guessed right. Go on, take this. Oh, boo. Liddy Bo's really gonna flip out on us. Blah. We got a record. And a bed. Who'd want to sleep next to a grandfather clock? Doesn't those things usually, like, chime every hour? That'd be horrible. Why would they do that? That doesn't make any sense at all to me. Alright, so we have a record. Let's play it on the phonograph and see if the boo dance is allowing us to get to whatever inside his chest. Which I'm guessing is a way to hold down the thing. The chandelier. To enter the room. Which will give us an item to get rid of that wooden floor that we couldn't access. Press A. Tap A to play the record. You have to have rhythm. Okay. Let's try. This is hard. I don't like it. This is like the test of uh, fear. How long do I do this? Ah, there we go. We, we stop it and then we go and get it. Oh, wait. How would I use this? Oh no, Lady Bo gave me just one job. The girl that treasure chest, she's gonna punch me so bad if she finds out about this. Oh well, I must say it'll still be okay. <laughs> it's not like I can get in without knowing where to use that weight. Except I already do know where to use that weight. You must bounce off the couch to get onto the chandelier to hold it down with the weight. Here you go. And now the door is open. What do we have in the chest? Ah! Spooky chandelier. And a staircase. Hello, what's down here? This is a big grandfather clock. This is the grandpappy of grandfather clocks. And we're gonna enter this next room. This is a boring room. We'll enter the next, next room on the next, next episode of Paper Mario. Because we're out of time and I don't want to like, yeah. Oh, I want to do the thing again. Ah! Anyway, that's all for me. Thank you for watching this episode of Paper Mario. See you next time.